Hi everyone, welcome to our team call tonight. We're excited to have you all here. If you're watching live or you're watching the recording, welcome. So tonight we're gonna talk about how to get started right and how to train your new coaches. Um, this whole month we've been working on getting to Emerald. There's a lot of new coaches working on getting to Emerald to join our Diamond Dash. So once you have those new coaches on your team, what are you supposed to do? So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, we also have some announcements. Um, so first of all, our um, new coach mentorship group should start on Monday, September, or not September, August 25th. So mark your calendar, August 25th, to start your new coach mentorship group if you're following the calendar of our team. So we are doing a webinar tomorrow night with Bob Lucido who is an amazing coach. He was a lawyer for 20 years and he quit being a lawyer and now he's a Beachbody coach and he just entered the Beachbody Millionaires Club this year. Um, anyway, he's amazing. I really look up to him a lot and he has agreed to join us on our webinar this Wednesday, so tomorrow night. Um, so check out the details for that. It's at the same time tomorrow night. So you can invite people to the live webinar or you can invite them to the recording, either one. But we're gonna talk about our new coach mentorship that starts on Monday and so in the webinar. So make sure to tell people about the mentorship and if they're interested, they can watch the, the webinar. So we'll explain that. Um, the next thing is our back to school challenge starts on September 1st. So this is a Beachbody challenge and we did a webinar for it a couple of weeks ago. Um, so if you haven't watched it, oh, no worries. You can eat dinner, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, so we did a webinar about that already, our back to school challenge, but feel free to share that. And the deadline to join the back to school challenge is on Monday, August 25th. So something that I'm doing that you feel free to copy this idea, um, but since the mentorship starts on Monday and the back to school challenge starts on the following Monday, I am looking for coaches who want to join my back to school challenge where they will start the mentorship on Monday and buy a challenge pack and then they will officially start the challenge group a week later and they'll have their challenge back in time. Um, so anyway, that's something to consider. If you're looking for people who want to join your challenge, but they don't want to pay full price, you know, they want to earn their money back, that's a great way to do it. Um, okay, so I think that's all the announcements. Okay, so just to give you guys some numbers, um, since December, this last December 2013, we have added 132 coaches on our team. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So congratulations. We're helping more lives and making a big difference. Um, so now we have 272 coaches on our team throughout the United States and Canada, and we're continuing to grow fast. And so we wanted to make this webinar or this call tonight to share with you step by step on what to do to train your new coaches. So we're going to start out with Angie Peterson. She's a diamond coach on our team and she's amazing. Figure it's a treat to hear from her tonight, um, but she's really great at leading her team of coaches. So I've asked her to start by giving you some tips. So I'll unmute your line. Welcome, Angie. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for having me. Um, just a little bit of background. Some of you guys don't know me very well. Um, I've been a coach since February of 2012. So I signed um, as a personally sponsored coach of Shannon. About three, two, three months after she became a coach. So I've kind of been in it for almost as long as she has. Not as serious as she has the whole time. But um, so I kind of started out as a discount coach. I found out that active duty military could be um, a coach for free and get that discount. So that's why I signed up initially. And then right when I did sign up, I kind of thought, you know, I'll try this coaching thing out, see how it works. Maybe I can get my stuff paid for. So that's what I kind of was doing. Um, my husband was all in with me and he was helping me build the business. And so we hit the ground running, <clears throat> signed up a lot of coaches real fast. And I actually got to Diamond in 52 days, so it was really fast. But the downside about that was that I wasn't really trying to find business builders. I was just kind of trying to get the rank. So I found about one or two business builders. Everyone else was just discount coaches. 
uh, family members, friends, that kind of thing. So um, kind of did that. And at first I was really stressed out about Success Club. It was really important to me. I was trying really hard and I would just, you know, put my all into it. And sometimes I'd hit it, sometimes I didn't. And um, went to Summit that first summer. It was amazing. I was really inspired and then came home and about a month later I got pregnant with baby number six and really sick. And so about this time, I kind of took a step back. I lost my diamond rank, um, decided that it was too stressful to worry about Success Club. I wasn't going to worry about it anymore. I still wanted to coach. I still wanted to get my stuff paid for. And so that's kind of the cap I put on my business. I decided that, you know, I was just going to do it this much, and that was about it. And I was wanting to still work on it about an hour a day or so. I wanted to help people, but I didn't really want to stress about trying to sell things because that was really what I felt like my weakness was. I didn't enjoy selling things. I thought, you know, if people want to buy stuff, that's great, but I'm not going to, you know, go out and market and I'm not going to really try and stress out about trying to hit Success Club and sell challenge packs. And so that's kind of what I did. And it was funny because I noticed for about a year until a little bit while after I had my baby that... I wasn't really building my business. I really wasn't making any more money. Um, The people I was helping, um, they were kind of doing free things. Every now and then they'd buy something, but they really weren't on Shakeology, and they really weren't seeing results. And so that's about when I kind of was like, you know, I'm spending all this time, and I want to get something back. I want to get, you know, at least paid for my time to where I felt like it was worth it. And it was kind of at that point where I was noticing that I'd been doing it long enough to where I should be doing more. And this is about when Shannon really started getting bigger. And I was kind of going, all right, I know that all along the way, she's been really serious and um, doing all the right things. And I knew I wasn't really doing all the right things. Hadn't listened to National Coach Call for a long time. And I was like, okay, I really need to get serious. And so this was uh, last summer that this was happening. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to get more serious. So that's when I got more serious. Uh, Six months later after that, I was, you know, I was, I was starting to gain momentum. I was starting to hit um, Success Club every now and then, about 50% of the time. Um, And I was starting to sign up more coaches and was getting really close to getting my diamond back. And this was in February. Um, My husband deployed, and that's when I decided, you know what? I'm going full in. I'm sick and tired of him being gone. I want to be able to have extra money so that when he comes home, because I knew from this point forward he's going to be deploying a lot. So I thought when he's home, I want to be able to have the cash that I want to go and take a great family vacation so that we can spend time together. And that was my, my goal. And so it was really funny because that was when I thought I'm going to just put my all into it. I'm going to do all the training. I'm going to listen to all the calls. I'm going to do everything Shannon tells me to do. And that is when my business really started to really go. I got my diamond back within the month that he left. Um, since then, I've signed 24 coaches. And I'm really close to being Star Diamond. Um, I've been building my husband's business since he left. And he's there. I'm just waiting for someone to get to Emerald. So, um, but we, it's, it's just been amazing to, to, to really finally take a step into leadership, to finally um, give myself permission, because that's really what I did. I gave myself permission to dream big. And I was putting a cap on my success before. Really, all I wanted was just to pay for my stuff, and that was about it. You know, I didn't really want more because I didn't really have a reason to want more. I didn't really necessarily need the money. The recognition was nice, but I didn't feel like it was something I was really aspiring for. Um, So it wasn't until I gave myself that permission to get bigger, to dream bigger, and I put my goals higher that I really started to grow. Um, So that was my own mistake. I, I was limiting myself. And now that I'm dreaming bigger and setting bigger goals, even if I don't necessarily reach Success Club 10, because that's what I decided. When he left, um, I was only hitting Success Club maybe about 50% of the time. I thought, you know, I'm going to shoot for Success Club 10 and just make my goal really big. And since then, I've pretty much done it every month. And so it's funny how when you set your goal higher, then you can go higher. And even if I don't necessarily, because last month I got Success Club 8, And so I thought, oh, you know, I didn't quite hit my goal. And it wasn't that I failed because I didn't fail, even though I didn't hit Success Club 10. Um, It it was just that, you know, I didn't quite hit it, but I was going farther than I had before. So um, anyway, that's kind of my backstory. But as far as as leading new coaches, 
So this is something that I've kind of had to learn really quickly. Um, cause, and this is something you'll have to learn really quickly and Shannon's had to learn along the way too. Um, but these are the, the things that I've been doing that's been working. So there's five things that I've been doing. The first thing that I do when I have a new coach is I ask them on the, that new coach call what their goals are. So this is exact, this is when you find out how to help them. If you ask them what they want in um, being a coach, then you will know how to help. If they just want to be a discount coach, then you know, okay, you know, I, we can do that. We'll sign you up for the discount and let me know if you want more than that. That's kind of the way. And then I, I also tell them, let me know if you delay your Shakeology or anything like that. So I have a heads up. Um, and then the other, uh, kind of coach they can be is to have they just want to pay for their stuff like I did um, that's when you know they they're a little serious they're gonna dip their toes in they're gonna do some coaching here and there but they're not head-on so that's where you know okay you know I'm gonna help you along the way but you know we're not gonna really go all in so and then there's the people who are just gonna hit the ground running who are totally serious who want to hit success club who are gonna be there every day you know that you can count on them they're 100% in so those are the three types of coaches as far as I see. And when you find out exactly what they want, then that, that's when you know how to help them. And they might say, oh, I'm all in, I'm all in, oh, for sure. And it doesn't happen. Some, you know, that happens quite a bit of the time. But that's when you say, okay, you know, if you're all in, then this is what we're going to do. Here's the plan. I am going to be here for you whenever you need. I might not answer right away, but I will as soon as I can. But whenever you have a question, you have a problem come up, you need some help, I'm here for you. You know, you can sit, shoot me a message and I'll do my best to uh, answer you as soon as possible. Um, I'm also available for three-way calls. That's what I always tell my new coaches who need me. Um, I, I want to do three-way calls for you when you're starting so you can hear what I say, um, so you know how I help people on the phone. Um, but that's the second thing I do. So I ask their goals first and then, you know, I tell them that I'm always, always, always there. Because I don't want them to sign up and feel like they're all by themselves. I make a really big deal um, when a coach signs up that we have this awesome team because we really do. We have an awesome team that makes it so easy. We have a step-by-step -step process. We have trainings. We have tons of people in our Facebook group that give support. So if I'm not there because I'm not always there every second of the day, then you go to the coach group and you ask someone else and someone else will answer you. Um, and obviously, I don't know everything either. So sometimes there's things that I don't, I don't know the answer to. So we have that support. So that's the second thing I always tell them, that I'm always there or someone else is always there. The third thing I always do is I do calls with them. So once a week, I try really hard to get on the phone with them and kind of check in, try to make it about you know, 20, 30 minutes. It depends on how long that they need. Um, but we do a check-in. How are you doing? Do you have any questions? Is there anything you can help with? Uh, what are your goals for this next week? And it's been funny because as I do this, I really have been establishing a relationship with my coaches, the ones who do get on the phone, because not all of them will, but the ones who do get on the phone with me, we have a really, really good relationship to where I feel like they're friends. We talk about our kids, our families. And so we have that connection. If they don't have that connection with me, because most of these people, I just meet on Facebook. I don't really know them. So we are making that relationship. And that is really important when it comes to coaching. If you don't have a good relationship, they're not going to feel like they can go to you if they need help. They're not going to feel that connection and they're not going to feel that support. And you really want that with them. So I do that. I, I try and get them on the call once a week if possible. It's not always possible. And also I try to check in every couple days. How are you doing? If they're a new coach anyway. Um, and then I tell them too that, you know, you are never going to annoy me. If you send me five messages a day, that's great. I get really excited when I have a new coach that's it's like, okay, I have this going on and I had just had to tell you this and I had a coach sign up and you know, they're really excited and they're, they're communicating with me all the time. I'd rather have that than some coach that I sign up that I haven't heard from in the first month of her being a coach. Cause that's really frustrating because you want to help them. Um, so that's the third thing I do. So I ask for their goals first, then I tell them I'm always there for them. Then the third thing is I give them that support with the calls, um, in the messages. The fourth thing I do is I listen to their needs. This is huge because when you get them on the phone, you don't want to just tell them, tell them, tell them, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. 
um, you know, that these are the things that we should focus on. You want to listen to what's going on. So a lot of times they have, you know, a problem with the customer or they don't know how to approach this or they, they have this little issue going on. And so you want to really listen to what's going on because they want to have their questions answered and that's what that time is for. Um, so I really, I'm very careful to listen to their needs. Also on, I, I uh, the fifth thing, um, is I try really hard to lead by example. So this is something that we've talked about on our team before, but unless you are doing it and you're walking the walk, then you're not going to have a successful team. You need to be doing it yourself. So just think about if, when you were going to sign up at, with a coach, would you really sign up with a coach who would pop up on Facebook every couple days who really wouldn't post on their Facebook page, who was, you know, Oh, you know, I'll help a couple people here and there. That's not a really effective leader. You are wanting to have a leader that's going to lead you. It's going to show you exactly what you want to do. So you need to be that leader. You need to be that person that people look to as an example. And so it really wasn't until I started a success club, um, um, regularly. It wasn't until I started to really put myself out there and, and show that I was, that I started attracting coaches who wanted to build the business. Um, and it's been amazing how that's happened. So, uh, and then also as a leader, you need to stay positive. You need to, sorry. Okay. So you need to stay really positive so I, I do talk about like little struggles like oh I've been trying really hard to hit success like earlier this month for two whole weeks I had zero success club points and I was messaging all these people and people were telling me no and and so I was you know talking about all these things I was doing and then all of a sudden I had two challenge pack sales in one day so then I was talking about my my um, the positive things in my business too so I do talk about you know the, the struggles I have so that people see that it's not all easy rosy dandy and not having success club points fall out of the sky onto my head I am working really hard and they can see that and so having an accountability group where I have all my coaches in it they see exactly what I do every day I post my recap every day so that they can see that is what I'm doing when we had an accountability group and I saw what Shannon did every day and then we had one where Bob Lucido was in it and I saw what he was doing. It made it so manageable for me to obtain what they're doing. Cause I saw, okay, all they they did today was this. And if I just duplicate that, then I can get there and it makes it very easy. So as far as being, um, leading new coaches, those are the things that I do. I ask first of all, their goals. I tell them that I'm always there for them. I get them on the phone if possible once a week. I listen to their needs and then I lead by example. So those are the five things I really focus on. Awesome. Thanks, Angie. That was perfect. Sure. Did a great job. Um, okay. Well, I just, I wanted to add a few things to that. Um, she touched on a lot of points I want to touch that I wanted to bring out because like I say, Angie has done an amazing job leading her team. I'm in her group where she's leading her coaches and she's so motivating. And um, I just, I love how she's doing it. So I wanted her to come and talk to us. So good job. Um, okay. So now I just want to go into some steps um, that are a little bit more tactical um, as well so that you can add these as well. Um, so first of all, when you're talking, when you add a new coach to your team, um, you want to make sure to have that phone call. It's called a get started right phone call within 24 to 48 hours. You want to have it as soon as possible because when that person is joining as a coach on your team, they are so excited. And so make sure to do that within 24 to 48 hours. Um, and then you also want to, um, on that call, you know, you want to set expectations. So this is really important. And Angie talked about this um, as well. Like if someone says, I want to really go for the business, I want to replace my full-time income, well, then they need to know what that's going to take. You know, if someone says, I want to replace my full-time income, I would say, okay, great. We're going to break it up into little steps. So the first step we're going to do is get your first sell. The next step we're going to do is get to success club. Then we're going to get, you know, take it baby steps. Like Bob talked on the call last night and he said, People want to get the black belt in karate, but you can't get your black belt in one night. <laughs> so, um, I mean, for me personally, I've been doing this business just over two and a half years, 
And I am projected like by December to start hitting about 2000 a week. So then that will be hitting the six figure mark going forward. Um, but I'll have hit it in about three years and I've been doing this part time. Um, and I mean, I've been serious about it, but really, you know, as far as time wise, part time. So, so you got to be realistic in the expectations um, and know that it's not going to happen overnight. That's a really, really important thing for people to know that depend, it depends on how much time you're going to put into it. That's how successful, how fast your success will go. Um, and also focusing on the right things every day to be successful. Like, you know, doing videos and blogging, those are all helpful to your business, but they're not going to grow your business. The things that grow your business, I, I love this. There was a comment in our team group this week and someone said um, something about they, you know, what they should spend their time on. And, and I said, you know, she said she'd been contacting people, but she wasn't sure. I can't remember the comment exactly, but I was like, yes, if you do anything with your time, that's contacting people, talking to people. Um, the more you talk to people, the better you get. Um, so anyway, that's just a side note. But so on that get started call, you're setting expectations, you're going over their goals, you're going over their why. And there's a really good guide to use that I didn't really use before um, until lately because um, the corporate's really been pushing us to do this. Um, it's called the seven day quick start guide and it's in your online office under, um, so you go to coach, coach online office, sales and marketing, business tools, seven day quick start guide. And this is really good because it talks about the three vital behaviors that we should do in our business every day. It talks about um, establishing our why um, and, you know, kind of setting goals. And it's a good guide work, especially if you're a new coach. If you get the seven-day quick start guide, that's a good um, roadmap to look at. Um, another thing I do on the Get Started Right call is I really dive deep into their why. So I have an outline of it that you guys can have access to. But I dive in deep. Why do you want to be healthy and fit? You know, let's talk about words that describe. Let's go into adjectives. You know, why why do you want to be healthy and fit? Um, and then I say, you know, you're, I'm going to give, I take notes during it and I send it to the coach. And then I say, you know, this is going to develop and grow over time. I know my why has changed a lot. But to keep that and, and to evaluate it every 30 days to see where you're at. So why do you want to be healthy and fit? And then why do you want to be a coach? So I'm going to go through, you know, let's brainstorm ideas. Let's, let's talk about bullet points. Then we're going to talk about, um, you know, like if, why, if you wanted to be a coach to pay off all, all of your debt, you know, what would that mean to you if you did that? Um, so really diving deep into their why, um, that will really help you to, to know how to best help your coach. Okay, the next thing is you want to help your coach get a sell as soon as possible. So this was a really good tip that I got from Brigitte Linford. She's a 15 star diamond coach who's an amazing leader. Um, and I know her personally. And she said, the best thing you can do for your coach is help them to get their first sell as soon as possible. Like within the first two to three weeks of their business. When a coach gets a sell, they start believing in the business and they start gaining confidence. And you wanna help your coach gain confidence. And so she said, don't give your coach any training. Don't give them, you know, because people get overloaded. So, I mean, obviously the timing doesn't work out. <laughs> Sometimes I have coaches sign up like right before I started training. So they'll join the training. But if, if possible, you can get your coach to get their first sell, get a paycheck, even if it's $15. That's awesome. Um, and so that's a really important um, and so talking, you know, talking to your coach and saying, okay, so for your first sell, we're, we're going to set up um, a challenge and you're going to run it with me. You know, we're going to work together and we're going to look for people to join this challenge. And then you work together. So I like to run challenge groups. And this is a thing I've changed as well um, since i talking to Brigitte Linford. But running challenge, challenge groups and um, coach mentorship groups with your coaches for like the first two months and helping them kind of get off the ground and then they're on their own and you're going to be there and support them, but don't keep uh, running groups. Like you're always going to look for new coaches, help them get started, and then teach them how to train their coaches. Um, 
Another thing is adding them to our email list. So I um, send out emails. If you guys aren't on this list, make sure to get on it. And if it's if it's going to spam, make sure to check your spam folder or your promotions folder. Um, but I'm sending out reminders about the team call, our webinars, um, tips and training. Um, basically, I look in our team Facebook group and there's a lot of posts. And then I pick the best posts of the week and I send them in an email. So if you're too busy to check in the team group, just make sure you get that team email, and then that's really helpful. The other thing is the emails from Beachbody. A lot of people don't know about this, but you go to Coach, Coach Online Office, News and Training, and you scroll down the page, and News and Training News, and then you scroll down, there's two boxes where you can put your email in. So I hope that's not too confusing. I'll write it in our team group, but. Um, but they send you reminder, reminders about um, the national wake-up call. They'll send you the, the replay to the national wake-up call. They'll send you sales, what's coming up on sale, um, announcements. That's how I get a lot of my information. So those can be emailed directly to you, and then you can tell your team once you're leading your team. Um, so after your coach has gotten their first sale, um, ideally, in a perfect world, you would send them our Get Started Right email series. So this is a six-day Get Started Right email series that um, some coaches and I on our team have put together. Um, so sometimes we skip this and go straight to the coach mentorship. It really just depends on the timing. And, it, and you can go through it later, too. But um, in our Facebook group, there's a banner at the top. Um, that says click here to get access to all these things. So in our team Facebook group, just click on the banner from a computer and then click see more and you'll see links. You'll see um, access to our team email. Um, you can get a recipe guide for your customers. That gets your customers on, their, on my email list. So I'm sending emails to your customers like talk to your coach. There's this T25 is on sale or hey, we're doing this back to school challenge, talk to your coach. Um, so I'm helping you know, with marketing and our team email list is pretty small. So I'd love to get more customers on that list. Um, okay, so basically, you know, add your email to the list to stay update, um, up to date. And then the last thing is just getting your new coach into a coach mentorship group. So I, like I say, I like to start my new coach mentorship groups the last Monday of the month. So I'm starting it um, on Monday, on August 25th. Um, that's a really good time because then you can work towards starting your free challenge on the first Monday of the month. Um, and it really kind of sets it off right. I've, I've been testing this and it works really well. So, um, so whenever I have a new coach, like if I had a new coach sign up like, and my mentorship had been going for a couple of weeks, then I would start that new coach on, I would help them get a sell. I would start them on the, um, the get started right emails. Um, but I would just, you know, gradually give them a little training as, as I went along. And then I would wait to start all of my new coaches at the same time on the same date in the new coach started new mentorship group. Um, so anyway, um, so then the last thing I would say is for questions for your new coach. So you want to help your new coach to find answers on their own because um, sometimes coaches just tend to go straight to you all the time. And, you know, that's, that's great. We want to be helpful. But a lot of times we have a lot of things going on in our lives. So this is kind of the process that I think is good to teach your new coach how to do. So if you have a question about Beachbody specifically, go to your coach online office and scroll to the bottom of the page. And it says FAQ right there. So you can search in the FAQs and get answers. They have hun like tons of answers there. If you can't find your answer there, go to Coach Relations. And that information is, if you're in the same place, Coach Online Office, at the very bottom of the page, Contact. And you click on that, and it has all their contact information. The next place, if you still can't get your answer, um, would be go to our Coach Facebook group. Um, I check in this group like two or three times a day. I know a lot of our coaches on our team check in there. So you can get answers pretty quick in there. Um, and then the last thing I would do is go to your coach. Um, and I would ask your coach what their business hours are. Every coach should have business hours. 
because we're not doing this business 24 seven. So if you haven't heard back from your coach, it's probably because it's not during their business hours. So um, make sure to set your personal business hours and tell your coaches when your business hours are so that they know you check your messages at this certain time of day. Um, so then, yeah, if you go through that process, that will help your new coaches find answers on their own. Um, and you know, sometimes they need to go straight to the coach and that's fine too. Um, but you know, to save time when, like, imagine if you have a hundred coaches and all of them are going to you, you know, just imagine when your team gets larger. Um, okay. The last thing, just a couple of announcements I wanted to say. So I talked to one of my mentors today, one of my marketing mentors, and this was really great feedback, um, for our team. Um, she was comparing me to someone else who's doing another company that I was like, ah, oh, we could do better. <laughs> so anyway, um, she said what they're doing awesome at is sharing their success stories. And she said, I am not sharing my success stories as much on my page. So right away this morning, I put a success story out. Um, but anyway, she said, you know, two to three times per week, sharing physical success stories, beach body success stories from our groups. Um, so anyway, I thought that was really good advice. We have tons of success stories on our team and we personally, as our, as coaches, we can personally, I know every time I share my story, people are like, Oh my gosh, I had no idea, you know, um, and I've been doing this for two and a half years. So think about, you know, sharing your success story more, sharing success stories from our team, sharing beach body success stories, um, two to three times a week. Um, and I think you would get more interest in pe people buying the Beach Body programs because she said um, people want to try a, a program that works. And so if you can show them that it works with your before and after pictures, then you're going to get more of a response. Um, so anyway, I thought that was a really good feedback. Um, the last thing I wanted to touch on, there was a concern in our coach group today. Um, and I just wanted to, to bring it out. Um, I don't know if you saw it. She actually deleted the comment um, and we resolved it. But um, so the, the question was, if you, if you have a customer, go to your website and then you don't get commission for the sale. So I want all of our coaches to know this. If you don't know this, Beachbody has a, it's, I don't know what it's called. I call it the coach protection plan. That if a coach has signed up under you, like they're your customer and they go to someone else's website, you would get commission for the sale. So it's good to protect the co the original coach that they signed up with, but it's not good if you have a, co a customer that joined with another coach and they don't really even know the coach or they never talk to them and they wanna buy from you. And so, um, so I do agree, you know, we should have um, something, some notice, you know, on there. So I'm gonna talk to them about this. Um, but in the meantime, whenever I'm talking to people, I always say, are you currently working with the coach or have you in the past? And whenever they say, well, I'm not right now, you know, I bought Insanity five years ago. Okay, no problem. All we need to do is transfer you to me. And it's really quick. It takes five minutes to send an email. So that email, if you go back to the banner of our team group, there's a link to a Google Doc that has trainings, tons of trainings for our team, Facebook training, Instagram training, tons of training. Um, but on that first tab in the Google Doc, scroll all the way down and it has the script of the email of what to say to transfer your, your customer. So I would say, you know, you can either transfer the customer or if they use a new email address, it doesn't matter, then they're a new customer. So basically it's based off of their email address. So if sometimes they're like, oh, I don't want to mess around with, with transferring, then I'll just say, well, do you have another email address we can use? And then they do the, use the new email and then they're fine. Um, but when you're, as you're doing your free challenges, just get in the habit of saying, are you, have you worked with a coach or are you currently working with a Beachbody coach? Um, but that really helps because also as you're getting to know people and then it's time for your challenge and they're like, yes, I want to join. And then you, you didn't know, you know, they have a coach and you don't get the commission. You have to transfer. You can transfer the order. That's no problem. Um, anyway, it just saves a lot of hassle. So that's pretty much all. I hope that was helpful information for you. I actually, all these steps I talked about and, um, 
we'll probably join some of our steps together, Angie, because you had some really good steps in there. Um, but I, I put a file in our team group. I was actually looking at it earlier today, so it's kind of up in the team group. Um, but you can look. I put everything I have right there in our team group. Um, and then we can just add some of Angie's tips there, too. Um, but I'd like to open it up for questions just for a few minutes. Um, so you can type in the chat box or you can unmute your line. We don't have too many tonight, so if you want to unmute your line, that's fine. I have a question, Shannon. Okay, great. Is it too late to call coaches that I signed up um, a month and a half ago and do the start right conversation with them? No, no, that's really a good idea. Um, that's when I, I went to Summit my first time and they did a training on how to train your new coaches. And they said, if you haven't done some of these things to get your coach started right, go back to your original coaches and say, okay, I've learned you know a lot since we talked when you first started, but I want to help you get uh, on the right track and go through some of these things. But yeah, I think that's a great idea. And it hasn't been too long. I mean, I went back to people I'd signed almost a year before and, you know, so I, yeah, I don't think it's a bad idea. Okay. Thank you. Sure. No problem. Great. Any other questions? Hi, I have a question. Okay, great. Okay. Um, I was just wondering for time management reasons, um, which, um, cause I'm now in several groups and I just, I'm, not sure which groups I need to be checking in with and also which calls I need to be on. If you could clarify that for me, please. Sure, that's a great. Um, so yeah, for you, I would just worry about your current groups that you're running. And so um, like for me, I always have one beach body challenge running and then maybe one free or one um, of the healthy eating challenge. So you have, you know, one main challenge, beach body challenge, and one seven day challenge, and then our rapid fire group for your train coach training. Um, okay, that that would be great. Um, the team the team group don't feel like you need to go in there every day. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll post things in our our own you know uh, the rapid fire group and our team group. So mm -hmm. yeah, so I would just worry about the the rapid fire group and your groups. And then once you are ready to open up your coach mentorship group, then that's good too. Um, and then as far as calls, um, this call is great. Um, Bob Lucido has his calls every Monday night. Um, okay. And then they have the national wake up call on Monday morning. Um, I don't know for, for me, like when I first started, I felt overwhelmed with the calls. And so yeah. I would, yeah, I would just pick one. I mean, like now, like I love listening to all of them. Like I'll listen to them while I'm cleaning my house or while I'm doing things or, you know, driving in the car or something. Um, but I think our team call is one of the most important because we're giving you um, training that's relevant to our current team right here. Okay. Um, so I would make sure to make this call and then any other call would be kind of a bonus. So. Okay. That sounds good. Sure. All right. Thanks. Sure. No problem. Good question. All right. I have a question. Okay, great. Um, so if I sign up a new coach with a challenge pack, do I get success club points for that? Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, so you do. You get two points for a challenge pack sale. If it's a coach or a customer, you get two points. Okay. So, yeah. And if they've already got like 21 day fix and they want to get Shakeology and sign up as a coach, do they still get the one success club point? If they've never ordered Shakeology before and they order Shakeology Home Direct, yes, you would get one point. Okay. Um, basically, it's every, you get points for every yeah. new customer's first order, first Home oh. Direct order. So, yeah. Um, so, but yeah, so like if they ordered a workout and then they got Shakeology later, you'd still get a point. So. Sure. Thank you. Here, no problem. Great question. Um, okay, I just, I want to explain um, Success Club because we have some new coaches on our team, just so for those of you guys who aren't sure what Success Club is, um, basically, this is a way, um, it's a really good way to gauge the growth of your business. Um, you want to try to get at least Success Club 5 
or higher every month. And so Hitting Success Club is helping at least three new people per month um, to either join your Beach Body Challenge or to become a coach. And so that's just three people a month um, with a challenge pack. So you get two points for each challenge pack, and you get two, and you get one point for Shakeology Home Direct order. Um, and then you also earn money towards towards trips. So, like right now, we're working towards the Cancun 2015 in April. Um, so you can, like, if you started right now, you can start um, earning money towards that trip. There is a waiting list right now, but everyone who wanted to go on the cruise list last March and that was on the waiting list, they went. So if you want to go, just sign up on the waiting list. Um, okay, I have a question. Um, that's, that's a good question. So Cindy asked, can a person be in a challenge group with only a workout and not doing Shakeology? Um, it really depends on you. So um, for me, I, I personally don't allow people into my challenge groups unless they get a workout on Shakeology. Um, and I have Shakeology as a requirement um, just because I've done it both ways and I've had people get way better results with Shakeology. Um, but it's up to you. I mean, when I was first starting, I ran so many groups um, and I, you know, people didn't even buy them. I had like a dust off your DVDs challenge. If you have a Beachbody workout, just join it. Um, so when you're first starting, you know, I don't think it, it's bad if you have someone who at least bought something from you. Um, but then as you start getting more people, you know, I'd make it more of a, you know, harder thing to get into. So yeah, I would just say it's your personal preference. Um, Okay, well, do we have any more questions? I have one more question quickly. Um, do you have to sign up for that cruise thing, or how do you um, how do you do that? Yeah, so you go to Cancun 2015, and um, I can post that in the group, too, with the team call info. Um, so, yeah, Cancun 2015, and you just sign up to be on the waiting list. It's free to sign up. And then... Um, I think they'll backdate like all of your success club points. You earn money towards your cruise with all of your success club points. And so I think they backdate it actually. So if you sign up on the waiting list now, like all of your success club points so far would count towards money towards your cruise or towards the, it's an all inclusive. Um, it's kind of like a cruise online. So, so. And, and if I don't qualify and I'm on the waiting list and I get to go, like, I want to make sure that I don't subscribe to something, you know, and then we can't do it or something financially. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, know how that works? Yeah, it's, it's your choice. Like, if, if, you don't, if you don't earn your trip and, you, you know, you decide you can't do it, then you just don't do it and you don't pay anything. So, yeah, it, it's, it's no risk, like, signing okay. up on the waiting list. Yeah. Okay, okay, thanks. Sure, no problem. Great question. All right, any other questions? Okay, well, thanks for joining everyone. We do have a leadership call right after this. Um, so if you want to join, great. If not, um, you're welcome to. So this is for Emeralds and above. So anyone who's an Emerald coach or above, I will um, actually just send me a message and I'll send you the link to join, but we're going to go ahead and start that in about five minutes. But if you have any questions, need anything, please contact your coach or contact me. Have a great night, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.